Hi, this is Rob from the Geek Show Podcast Network. We're here at EGX 2018. I'm speaking to the wonderful Wendy with the amazing ears from Muse Games about her game, Hamsterdam. Hamsterdam, yes. Okay, so first question I have is why Hamsterdam? <laughs> So, we're the development team behind Guns of Icarus, which is a steampunk airship combat ah, game. I remember that. Yeah, exactly. On uh, Steam, but also yeah. cross-platform with PlayStation. And figuring out cross-platform for PlayStation, we were the first ones who actually cracked voice and text chat All right. um, to get cross-play um, working. And during that, it really broke us, right? As people, <laughs> as developers, as human beings. Um, but to stay fresh, we, of course, do game jams, which is a yeah. very common thing for developers to do just to come back with a fresh lens and yeah. this was one game jam that we just couldn't keep our hands off of because um yeah it's just so cute so basically we were watching the wire a lot and in the wire there is a district called hamsterdam right so um okay. we thought hamsterdam but with hamsters um and so, from there it just went a little bit too far to take it back so, so now we're here is this the wire with hamsters <laughs> Um, because I would watch that show so much. Yes. So we have Marlo, the chinchilla, and we have um, this beautiful critter cast of uh, bunnies that are called bouncers because they're bunnies and they bounce. Okay. We have rats and weasels, and they wait for you on every street corner trying to attack. So basically, you're Pim. You're this small little hamster boy who's living in Amsterdam, and suddenly your grandpa gets kidnapped, your hometown overrun. This chinchilla, Marlo, makes himself the boss of everything. He's making the town of Amsterdam unsafe, making all the hamsters absolutely addicted to his Marlo tonic. Suddenly, your beautiful hometown gets destroyed. There's a red light district popping up with hamsters running in hamster wheels. I mean, no shirts on or anything. <laughs> and <laughs> and um, yeah, so we went with a lot of like dark humor. We yeah. had Pulp Fiction as an influence. But then we were like, what about also Ratatouille as an influence? <laughs> See, I would have gone with American Tail rather than Ratatouille. Really? Yeah, yeah it is kind of cute, right? So anyway, Pim is like this really cute, awkward hamster, right? He has his varsity jacket, he's half a year old, he's ready to throw down, and he's not scared of you because he knows hamster foo, because his grandfather is a hamster foo master. So <laughs> while he scoots through the town, enemies are idly attacking him okay. and trying to kind of um, b block his path to, while finding his grandpa. So you kick the bejesus out of them, basically. So um, this game is going to release on Nintendo Switch, okay. on uh, PlayStation Vita, yeah. on iOS and Android, awesome. and also on Steam for um, Windows, for Mac, and hopefully Linux. We're, we're trying so hard for you guys. Um, but yeah, so not only do we want to make it different ports, we want to make it um, different experiences, different yeah. games. So with the Nintendo Switch, you have like the motion controls, right? Okay. With uh, PlayStation Vita, you have the trackpad. With iOS and Android, you have the tapping and swiping. And with um, Steam, we have gamepad support, but we also want to make something really, really cool where you have to like type in letters uh, or and do something nice with the mouse. So it's like really interesting. If you're not the kind of person who likes gamepads, if you don't like gamepads, you don't have to use it. And I think you can do so much with mouse and keyboard. And there's such a demand for brawlers right now. I think we didn't have good brawlers on gaming on the go for so long. People missed it. Yeah. And I mean, um, that's exactly why we wanted to come in and go like, hey, you know what? We have a brawler that also works on a mobile device. Awesome. Yeah. So it's really engaging. It's really nice. It has this really grim, very cute backstory. And it really sucks you in. And I really, really love working on it. Um, right now we're on Kickstarter. Okay. Uh, we already got funded, but for the next eight days, I'm not sure when this is going to air, we're still up for, you can pledge as little as eight pounds to get every single version of the game together for the eight pounds. Wow. So it's under two pounds per game. Yeah. Um, so you can go in with friends and share. We encourage that. Uh, or you can just support us. The free demo is completely free to sign up for, so try it before you buy it. And hopefully, hopefully you love it as much as we do. Awesome. Thank you so much, Wendy, for talking to us. Yeah, thank you so much. Bye.